WrestleMania in Las Vegas, we gonna go? Mm -hmm. oh, let's do it. What is going on out there, world? It's your boy Tommy on the spot for Watch Along Wrestling. And you know, we are almost exactly one month to the day for WrestleMania 40, and we have finally gotten our confirmation, the long-awaited announcement, the breaking news, if you will, that WrestleMania 41 is coming to Las Vegas, Nevada, and will be held at Allegiant Stadium over two days, April 19th and April 20th. So a lot to unpack here. Uh, let's talk about it right from the start, the decision for WWE to bring WrestleMania to Las Vegas. Now, obviously, I don't know all the ins and outs, but what I will say is it was pretty much a foregone conclusion. I'd say a deep rumor that WrestleMania was going to be coming to Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, it felt like that was where it, things were going to be. I know a lot of people in Minnesota who were expecting it. I think even the, uh, the, the politicians in Minnesota were already starting to have those preliminary types of conversations. Uh, and obviously that fell through. And I feel really bad for the folks in Minnesota. I think they, you know, a lot of folks, uh, you, you think about like the WrestleMania that was the one off in Atlanta, uh, that I, I went to that one. Uh, and it really felt like that city really embraced having a WrestleMania. And I think it would have been the same thing with Minneapolis that, you know, they'd waited for so long and to have a completely different city get a new Wrest uh, a WrestleMania, I think would have been huge for them. I know they would have been really excited for it. Uh, and obviously, uh, WWE decided at some point to switch course, or maybe it was never, I doubt it was finalized, or I don't think they would have switched course. Uh, but I think what happened was a couple of things. Number one, first and foremost, WWE has been sold to TKO Sports, and TKO Sports also oversees the UFC. And I think, obviously, a lot of different events that UFC does there right on the strip in Las Vegas. And I think that once WrestleMania and TKO got an idea as to how massive WrestleMania was with WrestleMania 40, I think they really wanted, they probably made a push to bring WrestleMania to Las Vegas. And I think you got an appetizer and maybe a teaser of that with the press conference that was brought to Las Vegas uh, for when it was a WrestleMania 40's press conference, when it was looking like it was gonna be The Rock versus Roman, and we were gonna get the announcement and the uh, you know official signing of that match coming to WrestleMania 40. And then obviously they changed course entirely. You had the whole deal where Cody came out and said, no, I'm not giving up my story to The Rock. I'm going to go and I'm going to challenge Roman at WrestleMania. And I think that event got a lot of publicity and it got a lot of excitement. And, they, you know, they did not really have that much promotion. I think it was less than a week that they announced they were going to do that press conference. And it was like a huge deal when they were doing the event there. And I bet they went there and they really felt it and were pretty excited about it. And I'm pretty sure, too, hey, Rock being a part of things, I'm sure helps. Rock probably wants Las Vegas. He wants his name in the lights. He wants that big moment. Uh, that what comes with being The Rock. And, you know, it's unfortunate when it comes to Minneapolis. You know, I think uh, when my wife and I were talking about it, WWE's kind of gotten into this churn of the same similar types of cities, right? You've got your cities in Florida, your cities in Texas, your cities in California. Well, we love all three of those states. Uh, and we certainly do, especially living here in New York City. Any chance you get to get away to a warm weather city makes a lot of sense. And it's a lot of fun. That being said, Minneapolis, I just think, would have just been awesome. It would have been something completely different and it would have been a lot of fun. That said, they haven't been to Vegas for WrestleMania since 1993. They had done SummerSlam in 2021, and I was there for that, and I'll get into that in a second, talk a little bit about my experience. But at the same time, uh, you know, it had been, it's been a while for Vegas, and obviously with uh, Las Vegas continuing to expand with the launch of uh, Legion Stadium in 2021, uh, it's just, it's, it's the entertainment capital of the world. And I really expect uh, WrestleMania is going to be a great experience if you do go down to Las Vegas for it. I bet it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, next piece of this, uh, WrestleMania coming a little later next year, April 19th and 20th. It is a two-day event. It's going to be, uh, you know, two days is here to stay. Even the biggest of curmudgeons has to accept and embrace that WrestleMania is going to be two days for the foreseeable future. And in all honesty, even though uh, for a while I disliked the two-day event, and at the same time I don't love it from a live event experience, even to this day, based on the fact that you have to go and pay for two days of parking, two days of uh, tickets, all of that. Uh, but with that being said, uh, it is what it is, and I think it does make for a really fun weekend for all wrestling fans, and it makes sense at this stage to do WrestleMania over two different days. So at the end of the day, I'm not uh, too surprised here that they're continuing with that, but WrestleMania going a little later in the month, I also don't think is that surprising. Nick Khan uh, recently after this year's WrestleMania had come out and really said, uh, and we talked about it here on the channel, that WrestleMania wasn't going to go head-to-head -head with the Final Four anymore. And it makes a certain degree of sense. 
They want all the big sports and media outlets covering WrestleMania, and they don't want that, you know, them to have that ability to have to choose, them to be forced to choose either Final Four or WrestleMania. And let's be real. If they have that opportunity, if they have that choice to be made, they're probably going to choose the Final Four. I personally would still choose WrestleMania every year, but I know a lot of people, you know, certainly some of the bigger media outlets would choose to cover the Final Four. So no big deal, WWE shifts their show back to the end of April, and I wonder if this is going to continue or if this will be kind of a one-off to kind of see where things go. But it was very clear that as long as Nick Khan is overseeing WWE, they will no longer be going head-to-head -head with the Final Four. So let's get into Vegas as a choice here. Now, I know that Vegas has a reputation to it, right? Maybe some parts of Vegas are a little seedy. Uh, you think about, uh, when you think about Las Vegas, you know, you think about that, oh, brother, let's see, they're going to sit my soul, they're going to sit my soul on fire. And at the end of the day, uh, that is true, if you want it to be. Uh, if you go to Las Vegas, you can certainly go to pool parties all day, you can go to the clubs all night long, and when you exit the club at three o'clock in the morning, it's gonna feel like three o'clock in the afternoon, nothing will be different about Vegas. You've got the bright lights, you've got the expensive shows, you can gamble your rear end off if that's what you want to do, but there's also a lot more to it. You know, I have been to Vegas. I'm not a huge gambler. I'm not a huge clubber. I go to the clubs from time to time. My wife's certainly a little more fond of those than I am, uh, so I'll go to support her. But with that being said, I've been to Vegas twice, and it is uh, an experience that is really can be catered to your experience. You can do anything at Vegas. There are tons of museums. There are unbelievable uh, fireworks shows and, uh, uh, you know, amusement park rides. The Strip is just incredible. In and out of every single place. Feels like you're literally traveling the world and really you're just traveling about a two block radius there, or a few block radius over in Las Vegas. So I think this is gonna be great. I really do. You know, I was at SummerSlam 2021 at Allegiant Stadium for Roman Reigns versus John Cena. And even though this was coming right out of the pandemic, and so it wasn't a full capacity event by any means, and you know, it was a little, little touch and go and a little weary there because it was only about a month after WWE started bringing fans back, because it was such a big match, the traveling wrestling crowd did make its way to Vegas. And uh, at the same time, it was, it, was, it was great. It was a convergence of just a ton of wrestling fans. Everywhere you looked, you had a podcast, you had WWE merch giveaways, you had a huge superstore. And if they bring WWE The World to Las Vegas and they put it like in that sphere, could you imagine? Ah, oh, it's just gonna be incredible. Uh, I just, I can't wait for it. It's gonna be, you know, all the wrestling fans converging at one place and it's gonna be, I'm sure WrestleCon will be huge. There'll be tons of different shows throughout the week. And you know, I think it's a, it's gonna be a really great experience. Don't sleep on this one. Definitely get your travel booked as soon as you can because prices will soar up. And also, you know, one of the cool pieces about this is that Allegiant Stadium is right in walking distance to the Strip. First night, you know, when we went down there, we took a little cab over there. We were in the cab for about five minutes and I'm like, wait a second, what are we doing? Uh, you know, you could walk right over from the Strip over to Allegiant Stadium, a little bit of a walk, but you'll have tons of wrestling fans with you. It'll be part of the experience. Getting a little excited. I did this one. I will do everything I can to be at. I know I, I was I was at WWE World for WrestleMania 40. Did not actually go to the big show. Obviously, have a little regret around that. But WrestleMania 41, Las Vegas, going to take a lot to keep me out of that one. So uh, I will do whatever it takes to be there, and I'm sure it's going to be a really fun ride. Uh, if you haven't done it yet, if you haven't seen it, WWE was live at the Kentucky Derby's pre-show. Uh, that's where they made this announcement. Uh, they had Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch on set on site. Uh, they both looked great. They were derbied up, so to speak. Uh, there's a big there's a big picture of Seth Rollins where he looks bald. I don't think he's bald. He just kind of shaved the sideburns and has a little man button up in his hat. Uh, but it was uh, they were on set on site and they ended up unveiling this video for WrestleMania 41. If you watch it. Triple H looks pretty badass in it, and it really can get you hyped for the next year's WrestleMania. So, again, I'm sorry to the folks that are in the Midwest there for in Minneapolis, Minnesota. That is very sad for you, and I do hope at some point you get a big show. But SummerSlam's coming right to Cleveland, not too far from Minnesota. You had SummerSlam last year in Detroit, not too far from Minnesota. So, hopefully Minnesota will get something here real soon. There'll be, there'll be a make good. I'm almost guaranteeing there will be a make good from WWE. Uh, but instead, it's going to be Las Vegas, Nevada, April 19th and 20th for WrestleMania 41. Let me know what you're thinking about this. Are you excited? Are you making your way to WrestleMania? Let me know, and uh, there'll be a lot more to come right here on Watch Long Wrestling.